Well, we're on Sky still. We've just woke up at Nice Point Lighthouse. Was the only ones there last night. Lovely spot. Um, sea mist came in, so we couldn't really see anything last night or this morning. But in the previous video, you'll have seen kind of what we got during the day. Our plans now are to go on to another iconic Isle of Sky tourist spot, the Fairy Glen. Grumpy. I ain't got much about me yet. We've only been awake about 15 minutes. Shuffing sheep. Look at him. Oh. There's an escape. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Look at all the deer. <gasps> One minute, I'm going to. Just pulled up along the roadside and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight or nine stags there. So I've got the quality of the footage, but yeah, you can just sort of see that's a lot of stags. We came here last time we was here on Sky a couple of years ago and again, it's one of them tourist things where we wasn't overly impressed, so we're going to give it a second go and see if it's any different this time of year or if we maybe just didn't appreciate it last time. But yeah, on to the Fairy Glen. <laughs> Just said, no, you can play a drinking game with Danny. If you're um, doing it at the beginning of the video, <laughs> if he says, we're just, we're just here, we're just doing this, we're just doing that, you could actually, if you took a shot every time he said, we're just, you'll be absolutely steaming by the end Did of this video. At the beginning, yeah. <laughs> it's just a beautiful. No. I'm being cheeky anyhow, because on the flip side, if I say it's stunning, I even write it stunning on Facebook. As soon as this camera's off, she's getting one of them. <laughs> you can try it. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh, I could eat a sandwich, I'm hungry. Cheeky bit of blow up there. One thing I will say is you've maybe noticed as well on some of these videos, especially the forward facing footage, the conditions of the road, they're um, pretty, pretty bad. I mean, the side we're on now, it's been patched, but there's potholes everywhere, so you're constantly, you're driving like you're pissed, basically, <laughs> and just swaying all over. So as I say that, we're on a newly time access. Yeah, he lies. <laughs> no, he doesn't, to be fair. We've just come back from that knees point this morning, haven't we? By uh, some of the potholes that yeah. we're thinking, we've got a, a sneaky little theory that the tyre companies must go around with one of them pneumatic drills and dig holes in it because they must make a fortune from blowouts. I genuinely believe some of the size of them potholes you could lose a small child in one of them. A very small definitely. child. You could, small, you could lose a cat in one. You could definitely lose a cat in some of them. You could definitely lose a van tyre too. Mm. We've Touch been wood, we on yeah. a couple of occasions <laughs> but all being well we're still there. Yeah, so. Apple Cross Pass. <laughs> that yeah, was a scary that one. Was the Apple Cross Pass was something else. Again, there's another video about that journey, but... Well, this is the little narrow road to the Fairy Pools. Apparently we've got 1.3 miles on this. Last time we did this, a big food truck came around the corner, so... Yeah, it did, mate. Safe to say. Oh, we're, we're puckered. It's just gone 9 o'clock now, so hopefully the, um, the car park should be relatively quiet. This road should be relatively quiet. I mean, the weather's totally against us, but ah, it'll be we'll right. get out, we'll get our waterproofs on and we'll go and have a look at these fairy poles. We have sheep, again. Hello. And some people from potentially the Netherlands. There's a car park. There it is. We've arrived at the fairy pole car parks. Just going to go see now what price it is um, for the parking, because unlike a lot of the places we've come across, you do have to pay for parking here. Uh, it's to do with the Scottish Council, Highland Council apparently, so that's what it is. Let's see what it is. Two pounds. It's two hours, that'll do us. We're leaving the car parking area now 
are just heading down to the actual area where the ferry pulls as you can see it's just a road for the time being and then a little footpath just peels off and takes you to like the ferry glen highland coo one thing about this area is like the geology of it and stuff like that i don't know if you can sort of make it out but it's like sort of the lands in sort of waves um this is a common theme we've seen in this area as we go further into the valley you'll see more of it but just over like the crest there this little mound all that little mound why is it pointing the wrong direction that little mound over there that mound over there is the same um a bit closer up you may be able to just sort of see the landscape now it's a strange sort of place to be really it just seems so surreal it definitely looks as if the water was cut through over the years like there are a couple of like jaggedy landscapes and rocks which you can sort of see behind me um, it seems like a common sort of area for that there's a few areas a bit further down that road as well which we're going to head to we may just see some people in the distance um, this little lake following the road round but yeah like as you can see behind me now this theme of like watermarked hills and sides seems to be commonplace what am I talking about? Just coming up now to the first views of the Fairy Glen and again, as disappointed as we were last time, it's literally just a hole in the floor with a few stones around. It looks like a plug hole, so not for me really. Yeah, so that is the Fairy Glen. Looks a lot better on Instagram, again, once it's heavily edited, but for us this is just... It's just a bad weather day today, so we've decided that we're going to come and see this again just to sort of pass a bit of time and see more of the island, really. Now we're away from the crowds and people are coming out probably no doubt loving this area. What do you think, Lee, of the Fairy Glen? It is what it is, isn't it? It's a nice day out, don't get me... Well, it's a nice little stroll from the car park, but it's, um, it's just... There's plenty of people here, sort of, as you see, it's a busy area. We're glad we got here early, but it's not... Nah, it's not what you see on Instagram as nah. anything. I think a lot of the places that we're finding are the more like little hidden gems that you've not heard about yeah. before and we're just stumbling across. Whereas places like this, you come with an expectation of what you think it's going to be like and look like. And it's yeah. just, I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not what you see. both just saying off camera that what you, what the main thing you come for is the circle of stones. But these actual areas around here, like with this sort of, the valleys and the jagged peaks this is better for us than the actual fairy glen so i don't know i don't get the fuss personally but again if you're on the ice guy totally up to you whether you come or not i personally wouldn't go out my way to do it but if you're in the area maybe but that'd be it but nah i'm not impressed again <laughs> the weather forecast today was saying that it's going to be light cloud with bright sunny intervals as you can see currently it's the opposite of that we're just kind of getting used to it now come out with your waterproof still let it spoil your day but yeah i'm going to i'm a different viewpoint now different vantage point so i'm going to show you down probably just see it down there actually that is the main thing of the fairy glen well that's the fairy glen as you can see it is busy but considering that like this is supposed to be the main feature i'd say the area itself personally these rocky outcrops over the distance the waterfalls over there these views far exceed the actual glen just come up we've come <laughs> can't get my words out today in the slightest so uh... I apologise about the quality of this video. We've come away now, just five minutes or so walk from the main Fairy Glen plug hole, as I'm going to call it. Um, and the views around this area are a lot better, personally, than the actual glen itself. Another little tip of advice I'd say, if you do come to the Isle of Sky, don't bring one of them with you, because it's cheeky. I nearly fell over and all she did was laugh. Only because it was just 
mouthing off being a cheeky little so-and-so to me so karma so the lesson that you bring to sky is if you bring a leah don't be a plank to your partner otherwise karma won't come and make you slide down the path <laughs> that belongs to you yeah On another single, single track, track, baby. Wait. See, we love a single track on this channel. Not a single track. Woo! No, we do not. Oh, we do. some nice graveyards with some nice views but it's not what you want to see when you're on dicey little roads is it? <laughs> it's all the past victims of this road. Don't say that. Just come over the cross. No. <laughs> <laughs> just started that video again with we're just so that's another shot that you can down. Yeah, she can't. We're going to be absolutely sozzled by the end of this. Just day. for the record, we're not actually doing the shots as we're going to drive around the Alice guy. I'm going to look back at this video when I actually get some alcohol and we're on a campsite. I'm going to look back at this video and I'm going to drink. I'll just, drink, drink, drink. I'll just edit it out. Why? We've arrived now at the Kilt Rock car parking area. Since the last time we came, um, this has come on massively. They've now changed it to pain display though, which it never used to be. But they've, you've probably just seen how they've put a lot more parking bays in. It's all tarmacked, which is a vast improvement on what we experienced last time. We came over the pass from Uig to just a little town called Staffing. Five minute drive up from these um, Kilt Rock viewpoints and coastal sort of path. Really love the area. Um, Bit breezy, bit cold, but the rain stopped now, so at least that's a bonus. There's views right along the coastline here. Um, if we ignore this post here, or maybe if I just go the other side of the post, that might be easier. But yeah, you can see the views down the coast, all the way back towards Portree in that direction. According to this information here, this is an area where watch out for whales and dolphins, so I'm hoping to see some of those. I had a really cheeky man to just, to just say I've spotted my first whale but I won't include this I'm sorry Liam Behind us there is Kilt Rock the falls last time we came you couldn't really see this I think they've actually built this little area out a bit further so you get better views but that's a lot more impressive than we saw the previous time All there is for miles and miles around, just blue seas, open ocean, lovely, lovely area. This is, I definitely recommend coming here, especially after rain, when you can see the waterfalls. The last time we came, we came in sort of the end of summer and there was no water in there. So this is a nice, this is a vast improvement. We've been driving along the road now for about five minutes since um, Kilt Rock and we've just come to this place, um, Leal Falls, which we came to last time, uh, again in our previous trip to Sky. It was a lot busier that time and a lot hotter, whereas now it's sort of, it's, well to be fair it's perfect weather for winter, but these look quite impressive, I think they've got a bit more water in than last time. But it's not bad to be fair, it's a pretty good waterfall. It's actually like a series of three waterfalls. This little bridge area and viewing platform run has been funded by the local community. This one there is the main falls. There's one slightly behind me there is the secondary falls. And then further down that way, there is a smaller set of falls which you can't quite see, which run off into the ocean.
We're a two minute drive now from Lille Falls and we found this lovely little park up where we're going to have a cup of tea and maybe some dinner. Uh, again, you can see just the ocean out there. Just over my shoulder there is a fish farm. We saw this last time we was here and stayed here. And um, I think it's a salmon farm. And this area is really, really well known for seeing sort of seals and dolphins off the coast. I've still yet to see one every time we've been here and I've never seen a dolphin or a porpoise at any point, but you never know, I might see one today. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this little lay bar where we've pulled in, been pretty busy with people stopping, taking in the views. This is the name for the actual park up. I'll, um, I'll put this in, in this little clip, just so you know where it is. Where Leah is now is just on the end of this little peninsula. The old man of star is just over there in the cloud. You won't probably see him. Just out there into the open sea. Beautiful, beautiful sort of scenery. It's amazing here. You can see why everybody's come here. I've actually got the sun in my eyes for the first time. But the one question I've got is when there's a sea that vast, why the hell can I not see a dolphin or a whale? That's what's bothering me. We're just saying about the size of some of these potholes um, Leah's just down the road now she's going to kind of show you the size of them and what we've got to overcome not the best one in the world I will admit try and give it a wide angle this is the ginormous pothole we was on about Doesn't look good. We've come to the Old Man of Store car park. There's toilet facilities here, uh, male and female disabled, baby changing, and there is also uh, LSAN chemical toilet disposal point. Currently, the water's turned off, but it's just like a big trap, it's fell down, so it's still usable. But if you wanted to fill the bottoms of your potty up with a bit of water, then you weren't able to do that. So, like, we previously filled another bottle of water up just for that in case this happened, but yeah. These services are fantastic for what we need if you want longer on the road. There's a few of them around Scotland, some are chargeable, some are free. This is what we could learn a lesson from in England. England's very much anti-van, not really helpful for like if you want to do a long-term van life without having to stop on sites as much, which is what we try to do. But yeah, it's it's a step for it's a step and hopefully going forward more of these places will do that. We're in Portree, just going to have a little explore at a local uh, town in the centre. So far we've seen a couple of pubs, takeaways, the usual really. We've arrived at Slagaken now, this lovely old school bridge with the mountains, the red cullens behind us. Leah's found the <laughs> Leah's Leah found the topography of the area. Look at this. What do you think of that topography, Leah? It's bumpy. It's bumpy. <laughs> there you go. For you geologists out there. It's, it's bumpy. bumpy. See the bumpy. There's a bed stood on the car next door staring at me. It's just staring. Is that bothering me? 